Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, thanks to Centralized for providing the opportunity to Hellenic Blockchain Hub to present uh, the activities and uh, what has done so far for the ecosystem. So, uh, my name is Kostandinos Kalogirakis. I'm uh, honored to have been elected as the vice chairman of uh, the community, basically. Uh, we have some titles, but it's also it's a basically a community. Uh, it's a very dynamic uh, community of passionate uh, people, uh, professionals about blockchain and DLT. So how did, it how did we start? Uh, that was the initial uh, statement, our vision, blockchain nation. It sounds and it looks very far-fetched and far-reaching as a vision, but actually we, we believe that we need to put this kind of uh, uh, very, uh, very optimistic goal in order to make some steps ahead. Uh, that was uh, at, the big, at the end of 2017 when we started. And uh, the first thing a uh, blockchain hub sh should do is activate the groups, some very important groups. So starting from key decision makers of the public sector, then going to private companies that uh, have the power to initiate some proof of concepts, consultancies, uh, banks, every big or medium company, uh, universities, of course, research centers, blockchain developers, with, who are actually the powerhouse of, uh, of all these uh, activ activation, startups, and anyone interested in this technology who could provide us some content. Uh, it's all about knowledge sharing, basically. So we are, the basic idea is that uh, it's a human network and we try to share knowledge about this new technology. We all know that uh, we're just at the beginning of all this uh, blockchain revolution. And uh, to give you a an, an, uh, an definition of Helen Blockchain Hub, uh, it is a not-for-profit organization, of course. It has been uh, a legal entity as an association by Greek law since the beginning of 2018. And the, these are the four pillars of uh, our sta stature, actually. And it, the first is promotion. So we want to create uh, platforms to promote uh, blockchain and DLT and also offer networking opportunities to all these professionals, to all this community. The second one is education. Education meaning that uh, we want to create content for educational purposes in collaboration with universities and also participate in workshops for universities. And, this, and the third one is consultation, so providing some kind of guidelines and proposals and propositions to those who are the decision makers in institutions or the government. Uh, and I'm going, I'm going to discuss uh, what uh, we have done in this direction. Uh, so some, just to give you an idea of what we have done so far, this is uh, a list, an indicative list of, the, of our activities in the first year. In the, in the beginning of the year of 2018, we established the, the legal entity and then we uh, had our digital presence ready, like a, a Facebook page, a, a, a Medium, which is a Medium uh, uh, page, which is important for the articles, and uh, a website. Then we were we participated in many meetups and hackathons during the year, and uh, the f a very important one was uh, during it was in June in uh, Stavros Niarchos Foundation. Uh, center where we part we provided a blockchain for uh, kids workshop in a hackathon uh, organized by the Hellenic uh, Association of um, uh, Greek of uh, Municipalities, which was a very big hackathon. And our first big meetup was in September uh, 2018 at BIOS. We called it Open B3, Blockchain Beer at BIOS. That was a, a clever uh, 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 title. And uh, the, our, our, at the end of the, of the year, we closed with, a, of course, with our presence last year in Decentralized, but also with a lab we organized for SEV. SEV is a prestigious and old institution in, uh, uh, in Greece. The, it's the Hellenic Federation of Enterprises, of Industries. And we went there and we explained the blockchain and DLT and what, what are the implications for many sectors of the Greek economy. And there was a very good interaction and interest on their part. Uh, so in this year, we had a, a quite big conference 
called Unconference uh, at the Inn of Athens. Um, it was in March, it was also our first general assembly. We provided the first TEDx talk in Greek for TEDx Komotini. And uh, as I said before, with Seb, we, ha we are happy that we have established a very good collaboration and uh, we, we concluded a draft of a policy paper for SEV, uh, providing some uh, overview of uh, what's happening around the world and what will be the potential uh, implementations for, uh, especially for government, and uh, a proposed roadmap to, pr to proceed. Uh, and uh, in our, on our part, we are very happy that with, uh, within this uh, time frame, we have uh, onboarded 22 companies we have already a registry of uh, 78 uh, blockchain developers and uh, more than 500 people from all over uh, uh, the corporate uh, world and the academia have uh, onboarded. Uh, and uh, we signed uh, seven uh, memorandum of agreement besides SEV and with uh, blockchain technologies, uh, the Cyprus blockchain technologies with a, a similar association to ours and uh, some uh, research centers. So we, we, would, uh, we have some important uh, supporters already, uh, like uh, Oracle, uh, SEV, uh, and uh, Melon, and Unisystems. And we believe that there are many opportunities in the Greek market. I was here also last year, and I, I continue to see these are the, as the key sectors. Actually, last year I had put also tourism, but I think now uh, we can focus on these four. Uh, and tomorrow there is an interesting uh, discussion by experts uh, from startups who I think will uh, agree on me, with me. Uh, it's the public sector where right now there's attraction to digitalize more broadly the whole process of, uh, of, uh, of, e uh, of the e-government. Uh, everything related to supply chain, so transport, logistics, so, uh, because Greece ha is uh, actually a logistics, a logistics hub, uh, it's becoming more and more. And uh, energy uh, with P2P trading and uh, smart grids. Now there, there will be a heavy um, investment on the energy sector in the following years. And the ministry is very interested in going to, in, into this direction. And of course, financial services will have uh, Eurobank with uh, E-Trade uh, presenting, and there are other also banks uh, um, exploring the opportunities of blockchain. I know from my, from my experience in NBG that uh, they're also uh, working on some pilots. And as a way forward uh, for HBH, we have so many actions we can uh, pursue, and. Uh, at the short term, we, have, we will uh, participate in the crowd uh, hackathon of Industry 4.0. They will uh, organize at the end of uh, November. Uh, we will uh, uh, be in, uh, in a conference of uh, University of Piraeus uh, in a workshop for blockchain. And uh, we, are in, we are discussing also with the Ministry of uh, Energy to find some uh, small-scale proof of concept because, as I said, they're quite uh, uh, active. And uh, in, in general, we'd like to facilitate uh, proof of concepts also in the private sector. We've had some contacts already. And uh, what we would like to, to do is leverage the pool of uh, blockchain developers I told you about. So there, there is actually, uh, we believe, a human capital that can work on uh, this kind of project. And we just need to... Uh, put all the puzzle together, and along with other uh, players, uh, push a, a little bit of uh, the things uh, to, towards this direction. So uh, that's the short story of uh, Helen Blockchain Hub. It's quite new, but uh, we believe also that uh, Decentralized has done a very good, uh, excellent uh, job that coming to, to Athens. And also, as uh, they uh, announced yesterday, that they will have an Athens chapter. So this is great news for also for the Greek eco ecosystem. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And uh, you can uh, visit our website and learn more. And I'll be happy to answer any question. Thank you so much, dear Gustas. Uh, if anyone has any questions. Or I will be outside and I can.
Let's see, we have time for a couple of questions. If anyone would like to have one. Yes, please. Then just someone the back. Hello. Hi. I'm Ido from Solid Block, Ido Shacham. Uh, I like that you started your organization. What are you doing in order to make, make your country have less regulation or more clear regulation in the taxual zone, in the, in the process of getting uh, started that will help uh, make a change? Yeah, yeah. very good question. Uh, it, the regulation, as we heard, uh, and uh, Mr. Polemitis also mentioned, uh, it is one of the key issues uh, in general. So uh, on our part, what we can do is uh, uh, try to push for uh, some regulatory uh, and regulatory changes uh, through our network. So we are not we are just a not an, an association, a, a community, but uh, through our network, uh, we as I said, we have a very good connection with uh, not only Ministry of Energy, with lots of ministries and uh, institutional bodies, uh, like also the Bank, Bank of Greece, uh, uh, the um, um, Capital Commission. So we think that it's, it's a matter of coordination to reach this goal. Uh, it's, it is a very difficult uh, thing in, uh, in Greece. Uh, we've been discussing this for years, the regulatory thing, but uh, uh, probably now it's the time. I don't know. It's uh, something that uh, we need to uh, try harder. Thank you. Thank you so much for further questions. Uh, Mr. Russell would love yeah. to, to proceed that side. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Bye.